Minus 10. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And the liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft filled with science and supplies for humanity's research outpost in low Earth orbit, the International Space Station. SpaceX ascent commentary will be performed by several people. The propulsion engineer calls out propulsion events. The avionics engineer calls out avionics health and dragon separation. The range coordinator calls out Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. At one minute, five seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 reaches transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through an area of maximum dynamic pressure, known as max Q, at 1 minute 18 seconds after liftoff. This is the point where mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. Around 2 minutes 24 seconds into the flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down and you'll hear the call MECO, which is main engine cutoff. This first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later, heading back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1. We'll show you the landing on NASA TV about eight minutes after launch, accompanied by the sonic boom just before landing. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight of Falcon, carrying Dragon toward the International Space Station. Standing by for main engine cutoff, We have Miko. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. All nine Falcon 9 engines have shut down as planned. Confirmed. And the first and second stages have separated as planned. Second, seven Defense seconds started. after separation, the second stage is single Merlin vacuum engine ignites to begin a six and a half minute burn that brings Dragon into low Earth orbit. Marked. The engines produce 210,000 pounds of thrust. About 30 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. And stage one entry burn is underway. It's a burn of about 10 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. Falcon 9 first stage headed back toward Cape Canaveral Air Force Station where it launched six minutes, 37 seconds ago. Stage two performance nominal. Everything going well with stage two carrying Dragon to the- Stage one AFTS has saved. International Space Station. Stage one is transonic. Stage one is past the speed of sound. It's now subsonic. Landing burn startup. Landing burn underway. First stage landing legs will be deployed shortly. And a sonic boom passes across the Florida Space Coast. Like the Falcon deployed. 9 first stage 
makes a pinpoint landing back at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. LZ-1, the F-9 has landed. Uh, landing operators proceed to procedure 11.100, section 3 on LZ-1 net. Meanwhile, in space, stage two of the Falcon 9 continues to carry the Dragon spacecraft. And Dragon is making its way away from the uh, Falcon 9 second stage with the Earth limb in the background, headed toward its uh, destiny and a rendezvous with the International Space Station on Sunday.